and we are about to tell you that Jon Snow is our blue zerg spawning on the top side of Polar Knight. He gets uh, plus 25 cent, uh, 25 percent to all attack and unit movement on snow maps because he's used to fighting beyond the wall. All right. He is gonna go up against Puck. Puck wins with Forge, Fast Expand, of course, Root for Root Puck. Spawning on the bottom side of Polar Knight. And back in the day, one of my favorite RTS games was Age of Empires, and you had weird bonuses like that. Like, Vikings would get bonuses to naval battle. So like, if you, sh if you happen to spawn on a water map, because the maps are randomly generated, mm -hmm. if you happen to spawn on a water map, you just win <laughs> for being Vikings. And with Viking, you don't mean the flying air machine, you mean like the Scandinavian I mean, Viking. Yeah, like the, the Nordic barbarians. <laughs> Just making sure, man. I was about to wonder why Vikings <laughs> perform good in water, because I didn't understand it. I was like, I would say that malfunctions. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know they had the pontoons so they can land in the ocean? <laughs> they can turn into a boat. Yeah, if it's the third transformation, requires research at the, uh, <laughs> at the docks. <laughs> that would actually be sick in the shipyard. Either way, spawning pool goes down for Jon Snow, likes to open up safely, no shenanigans, no hedge first, no double hedge first, nothing like that. Someone said on uh, the Twitter universe, yes. you guys have been reaching out to us, of course we appreciate that. Make sure to follow StarCraft on Twitter, twitter.com slash StarCraft, and whenever you want to join in the conversation, make sure to use hashtag WCS. And of course you can always tweet at Ben and me at, at MrBitterTV or at RotherDam08. And, and don't forget to follow Liquid Red. Yeah, that, that's very important. I want to say something else, but then I just realized, bam, you just shut me down. You got it. As long as you follow Liquid Red, you got Twitter figured out. True. true. Ah, but uh, big thanks to everyone who's been reaching out to us today. It makes it fun to know that you guys are watching and you guys are enjoying the show as well. Someone said I just randomly shout out to his university, Kansas. <laughs> and he's like, I have no idea why. It was very random, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea why either. Just because I thought Jon Snow was from there, that's why. But you didn't, that's actually not substantiated. You don't know where it's actually from, do you? No. Isn't he from, like, the Northeast? No, that's always a safe guess, because most people live in the Northeast. A lot of people live in the Southwest. You could say the California Southwest. Mm-hmm. That's true, but more people live in the Northeast. A lot of people live in the Southeast. No, more people live in the Northeast. It is true. Like, the, the worst guess you can make is Alaska. Then again, his name is Jon Snow, so it might be Alaska. The worst case, guess you can make is Wyoming. Yeah? No one lives in Wyoming? Fewer people live in Wyoming than Alaska. Well, Alaska is a lot bigger, that's why. Ain't that right? It is, it is substantially bigger. What about Idaho? Idaho is... Uh, Who do you think is the best StarCraft 2 player in Idaho? I would like to know this. LZ Gamer. No, he lives in Louisiana. No. Well, that's close to Idaho. No. Are you kidding me? Kinda. Idaho? Yeah. It's close to Louisiana? It's, what, north of there? <laughs> Alright, I'm thinking Iowa. <laughs> well. Where is Idaho? It's near uh, Washington. And Oregon. Oh, it's the one and that looks Montana. like toast. <laughs> I am glad that I am <laughs> that <laughs> the non-American is educating the American about geography about his own country. That's why we're a team then. <laughs> <laughs> Man. I'd be and it's right next to Montana. Yes. When I was a kid, I Which was... Which is very far away from Louisiana. I always used to think that Montana looked like the Flash from the comic books. The guy was really fast because it's like a face and this thing that like coming out of it. Mm. And that Idaho looked like toast and that the Flash was taking a bite out of the toast. <laughs> That's what I used to always think as a kid. All right. We see three hatcheries on the map right now. Four Jon Snow. Ten additional drones on the way. That's going to bring him up to uh, roughly 36, 37 drones. Once more, Puck is just going to take the Zell Naga Watchtower with a single Zell up. That's the same thing as he did on Belshio Vestage. And uh, he's carrying at least with his little probe. Once more, it's the four gateway opening. No, actually, it's just a single gate to up to this point. And he hasn't revealed his plans yet, what he wants to do behind this. It's kind of weird, because it's six minutes and 30 seconds into the game. Gives me the feeling, does he want to go... He wants to do something crazy. Either he's going to drop six gates soon, or what is going to be, Ben? But like, if... Mm, no, Kev. Oh, Robo. But it's kind of a late Robo. Six minutes and 50 seconds. Maybe Puck doesn't know. Yeah, maybe Puck wasn't just not sure. Is that his first mothership for? No? Is that late mothership for too? Fuck, what are you gonna do? I find a sweet build. Guess he's gonna take a third. Or maybe not. Three more gates going down. Four more gates going down. Uh oh. Maybe he's gonna do the Roddy build. Oh man. Seven gate with an observer and a war prison. It's very good. 
Don't need immortals. I don't think he's gonna do that. Puck's not the type of guy. I am the type of guy. He's got five gates. Maybe he can try to do like a zealot warp oh. in, a couple of zealot warp ins to do something about the third base. 15 drones on the way right now for Jon Snow. Jon Snow is like playing like an experienced Zerg player, man. He's not afraid to take some risk. He's just morphing in crazy amount of drones. He is scouting and he's just putting the pieces together immediately. He's like, all right, I see nothing right now that's going to punish me in the next 30 seconds. I think I can get away with this. And he just get the D button pressed like a champ. Let's just make sure that he doesn't uh, overdo it because he's getting also yeah. a fourth hatcher. He's got no Roach Warren. He's there's, he there's, doesn't even have link speed. There's nothing on the map that... Uh, Oh, and there's the warp prism, Kev. Oh, yeah, I know. Could it be? Well, there are two pylons over here as well, but what is he going to do with five? He's going to try to He's going to do gateway aggression in two places at once. He's going to do He's gonna an do attack warp prism on the in the main and warp prism in the main. Uh, that's very smart. I do hope for Jon Snow indeed that he's only going to make units from now on. He's making five overlords, so that gives me the feeling that he wants to make units. Jon Snow, there's a pylon so cr extremely close to your base. There is a third base going up behind this. Jon Snow's house says he's on top of everything, man, with his little circling over here. He's going to try to do this with Hydra Ling. I just don't think he's going to have time, Kev, because the Warp Prism is already almost ah, to the main. The Overlord is going to say hello. No, the Overlord's going to miss the Warp Prism. I actually think that Jon Snow is going to be okay. Mm, we're going to wait and see. As uh, we're just going to... Oh, here comes Puck making his way into that third tense moments right now. The problem here is that the, the... Oh, no, there's no Zealots, and the Lings are going to go ahead and surround. Meanwhile, there's the warp in the main base. Uh, these zealots, lings are, zealots are going to start doing a little bit of harassment, but... Uh, I still feel that Puck is losing too many expensive units. I'm not sure how it's going in the main, but I do know that over here he lost quite a few sentries, used most of his uh, force fields. What's happening in the main band? Uh, lings are going to come back and deal with these Zealots. It's, it's, it was only a Zealot warp in, Kev, and that's not really enough. There have been no sentries, no force field, nothing like that. As uh, it looks like Jon Snow is probably going to lose this third base. Uh, he has 15 Hydras on the way and they should come soon. He has a lot of links out on the map as well. Good force fields again by Puck. Puck's just doing this phenomenally. But I still think with all the Hydras hatching, he should be able to keep this net hatch alive. No, he should be able to keep it alive. It's going to be close. Most of the Hydras are defending in the main base. Kevin, I think this hatch is going to die. The Hydras aren't coming. They're a little bit too late to the party. Hydra Din is also being attacked in the main. As... Uh, as, uh, as Jon Snow is, is maybe not dealing with this as well as he oh, could have. He's cleaning up most of these units right now, though, man. He's going to focus on the Mothership Core. The Mothership Core will get out. Uh, let's take a look at the main base. A few Zealots are still ravaging this mineral line. During yeah, they all just this. killed the Hydra Den, so all that uh, oh. all Jon Snow can make right now is Zerglings. Man, what a beautiful aggression by Puck. I love it. It's I like, thought that was so cool. I think cool. this is an improvement on the Roddy build. Yeah, I think this is a lot better than the Roddy build. That's why he's Puck and I'm Roddy. <laughs> That's why Puck's playing and I'm watching. He's zealous dealing so uh, he killed like 25, so 26 now. drones. So uh, sick. All the way down to 41 drones is uh, Jon Snow. And the sickest part of all of this is he took a third base. Yeah. And if, uh, you know, I, re uh, I cannot believe that these pilots were up for so long and they just didn't see it. Uh, but mad props for Puck for the way that, that, you know, that unfolded in the long run. He even had cannons over here as well, so if he had to worry about counter-aggression. Uh, behind this, he had two Stargates swapping in, so he's transitioning yeah. into uh, that's, that's, that's the That's so sick, too, because it gives him an ability to answer to the Muta Switch if that happens to be coming. Uh, if, yeah. And it just just because it isn't, he's going to make Void Rays. So uh, everything really coming together nicely here for Puck. He's at 118 supply. Jon Snow's down at 95 supply and trying to reestablish his economy. He's back up to 60 Harvesters. I still uh, kind of like how Jon Snow plays. Okay, yeah. Maybe that didn't really go his way. I am so very impressed with this North American Zerg today, man. Because he doesn't play afraid. He's just... Yeah, well, it, critically, he could have defended that. He had like eight Hydras that ran back and forth in his main base that never fought the Zealots and never went to save the third. Yeah. Like, it was just miscontrol. But I think what happened is he hotkeyed them while they were eggs. And then uh, he, he was trying to box them and send them to the main. And then A-moving his control group, and that was pulling them back. So it was, I, it, I think... Yeah, that's what happened we to seeing, all of us so many times. Yeah, I think what we were know. seeing was just a small control blunder. And had he done it better, the Zealots would have killed nothing. The Warp Prism would have been killed. And then maybe he still saves that third base. So it was, a, it was, a, it was an error in his execution. But uh, I, I think theoretically but his, his gameplay has been phenomenal. I do, not, I do not feel that this game is over yet, though. Jon Snow immediately just went back to crazy drone mode. He even took a fifth base. He might lose it here. And that's oh, definitely yeah, going to make dead. things a little uh, harder on him because he only has 50 supply. And he realizes this immediately. This is a fight he shouldn't take. He's not even going to try. A couple of Hydras are going to spawn. One of them will fall. Send those drones back, Jon Snow. No, that's not where you want to be, drones. 
He's just gonna retake this base immediately. That's exactly where you want to be, drones. Great play, Jon Snow. Jon Snow's at 56 army supply. Puck is well ahead. He's over 80 army supply, and he's getting his robotic space. So, but you know, still, as long as there are not four colossus zapping away at an Hydra army, I kind of believe in the chances of a Zerg player. Jon Snow's got a pretty serious window here where he can make a huge swell of Zerglings and go. Yep. He's going to have more than 30 Hydras. And the only problem is his Hydras are in 0-0. Zero, ah, zero. That's not the wrong choice. But maybe uh, not the right is, choice either. Upgrades is dicey though. Yeah, that is a problem. Uh, Puck has been upgrading well. He's like, got, uh, well, we say well. He's got 1-1 yeah, one, one, and he's getting his air attack. And he's getting shield, so he's going to be 1-1-1. One, 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 counting the Void Ray. 1 is 4? <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean he has four upgrades? <laughs> it does, it does, because he's got flying units and he's got ground units. Jon Snow's at 170 supply. Buck's at 180 supply. Both these guys have big armies. But, uh, Jon Snow's going to try, try to retake his fifth uh, on the right bottom side instead, at the 3 or 4 o'clock position. You know, if he is able to, if if Puck wouldn't be switching into Colossus, I would really like Jon Snow's position because <laughs> I I would believe that I mean really like it might be slightly exaggerated, but I would believe in Jon Snow's position. But I love how Puck is playing this out. You know, you can see that he's such an experienced and well thought out Protoss player that he's not going to take any risk. Mm. He knows that he's been dealing a lot of economic damage. It's pretty, f excuse me, it's pretty phenomenal that he was able to attack in two places and expand yep. all at the same time. That was really cool. I mean, I'm having trouble to attack at one place at the same time and not mess up. I, I can't do more than one thing at a time <laughs> when I play this game. It's all I can do to inject my hatcheries. I hear an angry zealot somewhere. Yeah, he's slicing away at destructible debris. Or all right. is it? Ice. Just ice. <laughs> 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 Nothing fancy. A couple of investors going to try to engage in this army. There is a Mothership Core and Recall being used immediately. Ooh, a couple mm -hmm. of Void Rays. Oh, left this poor and stalker. stalker's like, I'm one of you! <laughs> Guys, I want to defect. <laughs> deflect. <laughs> Red October, the stalker. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, there's a war prism in the main it's base. The hunt as well. for the red void red. <laughs> <laughs> Couple of zealots being wiped into the main base. This layer is gonna take crazy amounts of damage, ah, man. Dead. It is dead. As long as there are queens in the map, it's never dead. It is. How much you want to bet? It's not dead. I'm not gonna bet with you because it's definitely not dead. <laughs> <laughs> that missed a bit of call. <laughs> it's dead. You can look away and then we look back like, wow, that Dendard layer... Dendard missed a better prediction. <laughs> that layer came back really quick, man. <laughs> Doesn't matter, not cursed. <laughs> Sorry, Artosis. Ah, Artosis is breaking his curse, man. He's predicting everything right lately. It doesn't count if you predict after the results are posted, Kev. <laughs> no, he's casting. <laughs> Dark Shrine being wiped in as well. Two Colossus being uh, wiped in at the same time as Double Robo's kicking in. He's like, man, I heard you like Hydra. Man, these North American Zerks, they love yeah, their Hydra. Hydra's like the thing Sweet right now. Jesus. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not convinced, but... Uh, oh, I, I am convinced if you have Vipers and there are like no Colossus and Storms, but when you're on an upgrade dis uh, disadvantage, I always want a disadvantage, like a Frenchman. Well, I'm not is even that French. Disadvantage? He's going advantage. to have a hard time right here. <laughs> here comes the Colossi, and they will make short work of the Hydras. Oh, it's a beautiful attack for the Protoss player, but he loses his Nexus. Oh, this could be problematic, but I think he will kill all of the Hydras. <laughs> <laughs> we see most of these Hydras melt away. This Protoss army is just too strong, man. Four is blink going down. The Infested will fall. A few Zerg units are left behind. And picking up that Nexus, you know, that's great and all, but losing 40, 48 Hydras. From where I'm from, we say it is all over, Buzzy crying. <laughs> <laughs> Your French accent is not bad. <laughs> I don't know why. It's actually bad, but I just like because I don't know. It's, it sounds it sounds so French to me. If I would hear that accent, I'd say, "Nah, that's so French." <laughs> <laughs> then again, it's not very French, but that's just how. It's just obnoxious I'm American French. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but it is kind of how uh, some French people sound. Like it's they, it's they, they she sounds a little bit like that. It's how French people sound in American movies. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple of duck templates in the main base as well. <laughs> this layer this time with will fall as there is no detection, no overseers. Puck is just all over the place. Yep. And then Puck has played a fantastic PvZ almost from start to finish. Writing's on the wall, Kev. Here goes another one of Jon Snow's expansions as uh, Jon Snow doesn't really have an army to throw them anymore. Tightening the noose. It's very nice when a Zerg player is making the links when you have like four Colossus. That's just like, yeah, I'm winning this game and I'm killing even more units. <laughs> We're seeing that carriers being switched in, uh, or carrier switches on the way as well. Jon Snow still so believes. So now it's 150 supply. I'm not sure what it is or where it yeah, is. It's a lot of links, that's why. That's a lot of drones too. Yeah, 60. Uh, 
60 lings out. They're going to try to attack into this expansion, but uh, with Dark Templar cannons and uh, more and more reinforcements coming. It ain't going to happen, Jon Snow. This one's this one's in the books. Yeah. You trying to kill Colossus with links, you know nothing, Jon Snow. <laughs> <laughs> You've been waiting for that. You've been waiting for no, that. No, actually, All I just thought cast. about it. Nah, Jon Snow has played uh, some great StarCraft, both games, but this game, unfortunately, is not going to work out for him as Park has just been playing uh, yeah, almost flawless with that War Prism execution. GG well played is called. The score will go 1-1 um, one, one each, so we're going to go.